activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy. Last one to splash has to take out the trash. <laughs> Wait, worms! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why do worms come out in the rain? I'm gonna need pontoons and the excavator arm. Pontoons, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. La 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 la! Ooh, what's that? La 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 la! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Debo. Oh hi, I'm Wave the Worm, and I la 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 love singing. Everybody, join in! La la. la I wish I could find another worm I could sing with. Well, I'd ask you, but you're not worms. But hey, enough about me. What can I do for you? We were wondering why worms come up from underground when it rains. There are three reasons. Follow me, 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 me. Worm dive. Whoa! It sounds like something's digging down. It's getting closer. Don't worry. That's just the raindrops hitting the ground above and sending vibrations down. But to us worms, it sounds like a predator trying to dig down and get us. So that's one reason we go topside. Whoa! What? We better get out of here! Wave? Hello? La 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 You're right, Debo. That does look like fun. Reason number two. When it rains, we worms can move around on the ground much faster. That's right, Debo. Wave did say there are three reasons why worms come out in the rain. What's the third reason, Wave? Third reason? Um. La, 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 la. Oh, that's right. Number three, to find a friend. I love the rain. I love the rain too. We love the rain. Wave, you found a friend who loves to sing just like you. And now I have the answer to my question. Why do worms come out in the rain? Worms come out in the rain because the raindrop vibrations sound like predators. They can travel more quickly when it's wet and to find a special friend. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Goodbye, Debo. La 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 la. <laughs> bye bye, Wave. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> Don't worry, Debo. Those aren't real monsters. They're trick-or-treaters, because it's Halloween. Of course, Debo. I can teach you how to trick-or-treat. Did somebody say trick-or-treat? Whoa. Oh, hi, Rita. This is my friend, Debo. Hi, Debo. I'm Rita the raccoon, and Halloween is my favorite holiday. Because of all the costumes? No, silly. All the free food! <laughs> well, you're just in time because Debo and I are about to go trick-or-treating. Wait, Debo! We still need a few things before we go. The first thing we'll need are costumes. 
Great idea! We'll be ghosts! <laughs> so fun! Even ghosts need to be able to see. There we go! Ooh. Boo! <laughs> I'm a blippy ghost! Whoa! <laughs> We've got a karate master trick-or-treating with us! Opa! And now a chef! <laughs> so cool! Our costumes are ready! Time for the next step! Containers to hold our treats! Cool jack-o'-lantern pails! Hey, yeah! Yeah! Trash bag! Ooh! My first treat! Now it's time to hit the streets! A glowing ghost! Fun! Okay! <laughs> Be sure to pick a house that is decorated and lit up for Halloween. Then knock on the door and say, Trick or treat! Come on! What are you waiting for? <laughs> Trick, Trick or, or treat! treat! <laughs> Thank you! Happy Halloween! Remember, you can only go to each house one time and just take one piece of candy. Trick or treat! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot! That'll last you till next Halloween! Whoa! Those scare me every time! Trick or treat! for helping me teach Debo how to trick or treat, Rita. And remember, Debo, to trick or treat, you need a costume and a bag or pail for treats. Then walk door to door, stop at the lit and decorated houses, say trick or treat to get goodies in return. And remember, you always need an adult. <laughs> yeah. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet night, Rita. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs>
So, let's dig! <laughs> dig, 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 dig! Ooh. Wow, what a hole! Now let's build a sandcastle! You're right, Tabs. We are gonna need a shovel. Finished! Success! You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat. And best sandcastle ever. Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to mm. catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa, look at that, Tabs! It's an adorable kitty cat! <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers! Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa, what was that? Hey, it's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats! I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me! Wait for me! <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! Flawless! How do you land so perfectly? My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this! Aha! Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi! It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Activate 
Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Driving at night is so much fun. And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa, what was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder. Why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. <laughs> Woo! Ha ha! Come on, keep up! Rita, you aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Flippy! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippy Mobile! This time I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye bye Rita! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Hey, it's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. <coughs> wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm, I wonder. Why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. 
Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here, hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush! Oops, sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good though, gotta dash and eat all the trash! Horace has more energy now. Aha, which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy! For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all-I-can-eat restaurant! Woohoo! Go, Horace! Thanks! Cheers, Blippi! Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! I love being at the beach. Whoa! A flying fish! Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! It's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly! It is a forest! Welcome to my neighborhood! My name's Jerry! Jerry the Jellyfish! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Tabs! We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot! The ocean's full of surprises! I'll show you! I'm going to meet my friends and well, I'll give you a tour along the way! All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp! Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. <coughs> yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry. Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on! <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale? And she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens! Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up! I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look! It's your friends! Hiya, pals! You guys found me! And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? 
There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. Whoa, look, a bird flying at night. Huh, it's a bat. Hmm, I wonder, how do bats fly in the dark? Good idea, Debo. Let's take flight in the night. I'm going to need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Whose lights are those? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I put my bright headlights on to find you! Oh, hey, Blippi! I'm Matt the Bat! I was just heading out to fly my favorite flying course. You wanna join me? Sure! I was wondering how bats fly in the dark! I can show you, but one thing, Blippi, no headlights. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, it's so dark. Twigs, crunch, look out. Whoa. Blippi, didn't you hear that tree? No, I didn't. Wait, did you say hear the tree? Yeah, I can hear everything in my way. Heads up! Rocks! Whoa! How do you do that? Bats have a special skill called echolocation. I make sounds and they bounce off objects and echo so I can tell where the objects are and how far away I am from them. Really, Debo? You have echolocation too? Because you're a robot dog? <laughs> well, let's use it. Whoa! Let's fly! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! <sighs> nice flying, guys. Thanks! And I have the answer to my question. How do bats fly in the dark? Echolocation! Bats make high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects and echo, so they can safely hear where they're at in the dark. Upload answer, Debo. Oh, look, it's bedtime. Fun flying with you, Blippi and Debo. You sleep upside down? Whoa, bats are amazing. Bye-bye, Matt the Bat. So much fun to go trick or treating with everyone. Let's take a look in a haunted house. But I'm not scared, can't say the same for that mouse. Bubbling cauldrons and a witch's room. Let's go for a ride and sing this tune. <laughs> uh, uh, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume, ready for a fright. Gets up and walks. You have to come and see from near and far. There's a pirate spider who will greet you with an arr. There's so much 
fun on Halloween. So many costumes and friends to see. <laughs> Don't forget to go and trick or treat. You'll have lots of candy that we can all eat. Ha, ha, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume. Ready for a fright. Oh, who's that? Quickly now! There's an arm and a leg, but where's the head? There's a hand and a finger, but where does the head linger? There's a foot and a toe, but where did the head go? There's the body and the other arm, please keep calm! Here's the other leg, but where's the head? Here it is! <laughs> Carve away, Tabs! That's very nice! Whoa! <laughs> Whoopsie! Hey, it's me, Blippi! And that's... <laughs> tabs! I'm Peter. <sighs> that was a big sigh, Peter. Is something wrong? Yeah, I'm a little sad. Why are you sad? It's Halloween. I think a spider would love Halloween. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite holiday. But no one ever invites me to their parties because I'm too scary. That's a great idea, Tabs. We'll throw Peter a Halloween party and invite all of our Halloweeny friends to meet him. Really? For me? <laughs> Thank you! I wonder, how do you throw the best Halloween party? Oh, I know, I know! I'm a Halloween expert! First, we need spooky decorations to set the mood. And I know spooky! You know what else we need? Halloween snacks for everyone! How about worms? Gummy worms! Oh, don't forget the scary cupcakes! And the finishing spooky touch! Halloween fruit punch! Now we just need... Halloween costumes! I'm going as... A pirate! Yar! I'm a construction worker! Nice avocado costume tabs! Dressing up is so much fun! Ooh, our guests! Right on time! <laughs> oh, goody! Oh, goody! Wait a minute. Just one guest? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Don't mind if I do! This is the best Halloween party e e e e e e ever! When ghosts get really eerie and pumpkins very cheery, 
Witches do in trance, and black cats start to dance. Spiders spin their webs, and skeletons lose their heads. It's the scariest time you've ever seen. Must be Halloween. My very first Halloween party. <laughs> and I got to make so many new friends. And now I have the answer to my question. How do you throw the best Halloween party? To throw the best Halloween party, you need fun decorations, yummy snacks and treats, a good costume, and great friends. Upload answer tabs. Thanks so much for a fun party, Blippi. You're welcome, Peter. Now the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Evo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? You have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait. Are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan! You're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh! Zemo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye, bye, Blippi. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. 
Why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky Day! Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, no, 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 no. Never get too close to fireworks. Be safe. Give them some space. Okay. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about. know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and sends the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Great! Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful! Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Here comes another one, Tabs! Tabs, are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right, let's go. <gasps> Here it comes. What an amazing show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. <laughs> You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! <laughs> wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder. How high can a kangaroo jump? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo. What brings you to these parts in your cool-looking car? Hi, Rooney. It's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. <laughs> we wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet you. 
Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here. But I can jump higher! Oh, Rooney's hopping pretty high! And super fast! Ah, you're pretty fast yourself! You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun! Alright, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there! We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock! It's the heart of Australia! Whoa! So cool! And the first bag here wins! You're on, Rooney! By the way, the main be a fence or two in the way. Good to know! the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> that was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! To Big Blippy Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippy! The rain will be gone soon, Taps? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting! Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs! Exactly right! It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors! <gasps> Whoa! A rainbow! So many colors! I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs! We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please. The big blue sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer. I'm Bowie the Rainbow. Whoa, hey, it's me Blippi. I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Lippy. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, superfan Blippi! First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect! That means there are lots of water droplets in the air! Wow! This cloud has so many teeny drops of water! Hashtag true! Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this! Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends, or refracts, and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow! Voila! That is awesome! I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. Whoa! 
Whoa, look at that massive skyscraper with a crane next to it. Right, Debo. I think it is helping build the building. Hmm, I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea. We'll go talk to the crane. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs. Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Extendo legs up. Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem, Kareem the Crane. It's my first big job today. I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. <laughs> I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really heavy bricks. Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning, but I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Now, take it up, Kareem. Oh, goodness. Look out below! Huh? Got it! Now let's finish the job! <laughs> yeah! Isn't helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey, we did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes left heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings. Upload answer, Debo. Yes. Thanks for everything, Blippi. Bye. Bye, Kareem. I knew you'd be an amazing crane. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Wow, that's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm gonna need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti. I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <laughs> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. Woo! Ice! <laughs> We're up so high, and it's much colder up here. 
Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! That was a close one. Hey, it's the mountaintop. Yeah, we made it. Oh, whoa, it's so windy up here. I got you, Blippi. So what is the name of this mountain? It's Hamalangma. Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. Mmm, I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm, I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft, prop engine confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is Ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! Hi, Blippi! Hi, Debo! <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar! Welcome to my chocolate factory! Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. Our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. Chocolate bar Debo. After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready. Ta da! Whoa! You both look alike. And I have the answer to my question How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow, I love our cool Blippi mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going 
back in time! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We just traveled back over 100 years! I wonder whose house this is. It's mine! My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am! Come here, future Blippi great grandson! <laughs> grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seat belts? Okay, let's go! To the top of that hill! Now down we go! Oh no, Debo! Whoa! 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 Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it, cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Look at that snowflake! Whoa! Whoa! I agree, Debo. Snowflakes are beautiful. Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? You're right, Debo. We can go up into a cloud and find out. I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings. Grabber arm, wings, confirm. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a snowflake is made. We're way up high, and the air is very cold. Isn't it so chill? I mean, welcome to my cloud. Huh. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. It looks like you're working hard. Huh. You're right. I'm a small particle now, but soon I'll be a big snowflake. Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals. One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here! Yeah! Go catch, Debo! <laughs> Now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground. Follow me. Yay! <laughs> Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive. Thanks. You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi. A snowman. Perfect. I can land there with the rest of my squad. I did it. Stop the landing. 
Way to go, Mimi. <laughs> and I have the answer to my question. How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Mimi. Bye, Blippi. Mmm, yum. These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious. Oh, what a mess. Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling. Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, Devo, I think I know that fly. It's Horace. Hi, Blippi. How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? No, oh, it's easy. Watch this. Ta da! Wow! Yes, sir. The ceiling is my own personal dance floor. Skip it, but it, dip, 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 Now you try. Here goes. Whoa! Why can't the Blippi Mobile stand on the ceiling, too? What's the trick? Here's the trick! You've got to stick! Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some. Don't mind if I do. Here goes. Whoa! Now I stick to the ceiling, too. Look at all that mess. Oh, oh the glue has a stuck in place. That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist. The fly leg twist? That's right. Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk like this. Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist! Do the fly leg twist! And get your feet unstuck when you go like this! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. Well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi. Bye-bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa, that is a big bear. It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Nice hula hoop moves you got there. Bella the bear. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. 
Is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no! I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm gonna have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast. <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella, don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie do. Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right. We're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Nice work, Blippi. <laughs> well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles! The bear version of a big comfy blanket. Oh, thanks! That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. Huh? You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires. Confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? Oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! I'm going really fast. Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can. Only 180 miles per hour now. Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars. Plus, my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain! Do your thing! 
You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? Huh? I do. My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi. Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! Look at all the blinking fireflies! One, two, three! One, two, three! Oh, I love counting! Don't you, Debo? <laughs> hey, get back here, you silly! What you got there, Debo? Hmm, I wonder, why do fireflies light up? I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look at all those different flashing patterns! Maybe it's a counting game! One, two, three! One, two, three! Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Huh? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I was wondering, why do fireflies light up? Hey! I'm Felicia! And if there's one thing you gotta know about us fireflies, it's that we are all about that blink! One, two, three! One, two, three! <laughs> You again? <laughs> Just try and catch me this time. Debo! <laughs> I like your style, Debo. <laughs> I've never seen moves like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. When fireflies blink, it's because they like another firefly style. And with style like that, I just can't stop. Everybody, stop! Oh, no! Not today, froggy boy. Felicia saves the day. Ah, works every time. Fireflies also light up when there is danger around. Oh, like a warning signal to predators to stay away? Yep. Nope, not my style. Not bad, but nah. Hey, Blippi, will you help me find a firefly with a blinking style like mine? You mean like a counting game? Yeah. Do you remember my flash pattern? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it! We found your match! Now that's my style. <laughs> what a great adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do fireflies light up? Fireflies light up to warn predators to stay away and to help them find other fireflies with the same blinking style. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for your help, Blippi! Bye, Felicia! One, two, three! One, two, three! Activate Blippi Station!
It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! <laughs> I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Sounded great! I love it! Thank you! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky! We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right! Okay! When I pick a string... It goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it love! Thank you! Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard! We're going up and down, too! When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud! Like, a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth! <laughs> Hello! Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over! Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank, Thank you! <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Halloween is the best, Tabs. And I love trick-or-treating, too. Hey, look! A haunted house. Whoa! Look at all the decorations. So cool! You're right, Tabs. Maybe there are treats inside. Hmm, I wonder what's inside a haunted house. Let's find out. Ready, Tabs? Tabs! Whoa. I better go into the haunted house to find Tabs. This should be fun! Hi! It's me, Blippi. I'm looking for my friend Tabs. Have you seen her? Hi, Blippi. I'm Mr. Pumpkin. Was that a ghost? Probably, yeah. I haven't seen Tabs, but you can look for her in this house full of magical and spooky fun. Great. Maybe my friend Bones has seen Tabs. He's in the basement. 
I'd start by taking the stairs. All right. Whoa! <laughs> Turn into a slide! <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin? Tabs? Hello? Tied to bones. Maybe he's seen tabs. <laughs> I better sweep him up. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa! Whee! Sorry again, bones. Whoa! Maybe that flying ghost knows where tabs is. Let's follow it. <laughs> whoa! Hi, witch. Bye, witch. Hmm. Well, I guess this is a dead end. I wonder where everyone went. <laughs> cool! A spinning wall! Whoa! Woohoo! Congrats, Flippy! You made it all the way through my haunted house! The tricks are over, but now it's time for the trees! But wait! I still haven't found tabs! <laughs> tabs? You were the ghost the whole time? Well, now I have the answer to my question. What's inside a haunted house? Fun, spooky skeletons, cobwebs, a talking pumpkin, spiders, a witch, and a floating tabs ghost. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for letting us have fun in your house, Mr. Pumpkin. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! To the Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Mmm! What's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo! Vegetables are yummy too! Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion! We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile Ready for adventure! All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. Look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slip Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit or vegetable? Say hello to your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seeds in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh, ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right. But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. And you get two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. 
that's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables. Huh? 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 Thanks. Huh? Huh? Something is making me sneeze. Hmm. I wonder, why do people sneeze? <laughs> yes! It's time to find the nearest nose and see what happens in there. I'm gonna need rocket boosters, a grabber arm, and spider legs. Rocket booster, grabber arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Woohoo! Into a nose we go! It's like a cave in here! Hello! Hello! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Who are you? My name's Petunia, and I'm a piece of pollen! I may be small, but I can make big things happen! <laughs> Like a sneeze? You got it! When I'm around people, I bother them! <laughs> and I especially like bothering noses! Come on, bounce with me! Oh, don't worry, it's a nose, it's not gonna bite! Plus, it's fun! <laughs> so, this will make someone sneeze? This is just the start! Since a sniff is coming! Watch out! That wasn't that bad! <laughs> it looks like we're in a jungle. This is all hair! It's here to keep pollen like me, and plus other things like dust particles, out of your nose! Oh, <laughs> well, it won't work! Oh, it's fun to be irritating! Will this cause a sneeze? <laughs> I hope so! Ooh, now a tissue's coming for us! <laughs> Tickle more! <laughs> is the sneeze coming? It is! <laughs> na 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 na! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh no! Boogers! We did it! Yes! And I have the answer to my question. Why do people sneeze? People sneeze when tiny things like pollen get inside their nose and irritate it. Upload answer, Debo. Okay, see ya, Blippi! Bye-bye, Petunia. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Oh, look at all those adorable penguins! Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around! Wow! I think those penguins are flying! Wait a minute! Those aren't penguins! <laughs> You're right, Debo! I don't see any penguins flying! Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers! Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Getting huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> we were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah, it's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right! Here we go! Whee! I spy detour! I'm gonna catch some serious air! Watch this! Yay! Whoop! Huh? 
Pepper? <laughs> <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> Whoa! Not this one. No shimmer stripes here. Whoa! Where could it be? Whoa! It's the shimmer stripe iceberg! Yeah! Woohoo! Here we go! Whoa! Come on, Debo! Yeah! Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Whoa! Whoa, hey, dudes! <laughs> whoa, uh. whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? I guess it's not the same as flying, but we did catch some serious air! Pepper! You're soaring! I am? Ooh, ooh. You're right. I can really soar underwater. <laughs> Whoa! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dude! Bye, Pepper! Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Ooh. Wow! That bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too! They're all so busy. <laughs> Well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be! <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. <laughs> Got to chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha! Ha ha! I rhymed again! <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. Ah, the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Honey, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer, Tabs. Bye, Bijan! Thanks for being you! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! 
to Big Blippy Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Tabs. That bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm. I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can just get up. All right. Then let's bounce! Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here! I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big. Because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky! Keep on bouncing, Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Wow! I love our cool Blippi Mobile! You're right, Debo! Our car does have amazing things! Hmm. I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Going back in time! Mobile is ready for adventure. We just traveled back over 100 years. I wonder whose house this is. It's mine. My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am. Come here, future Blippi great grandson. <laughs> We're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. 
people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seatbelts? Okay, let's go to the top of that hill. Now down we go! Oh no, Devo! Whoa! 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 Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it. Cars only had two seats. And you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. <laughs> All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs. And they're all walking together. Hmm, I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Hi, y'all! Welcome! I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey! It's me, Blippy, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. We'll jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all! Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello, we're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right, my antennas are twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all, bumpy road ahead. <laughs> And Nita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. Okay, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Whoa! <laughs> Grapes are good. Walnuts are yum. Cheese and crackers. I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all. Let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her, and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. 
great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi. Oh. Look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole! Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings! Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look, Debo! This is an acorn! It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely! We have an acorn over here! Nuts! Nuts! I need more nuts! I can't get enough nuts! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is my friend Debo. He found a nut for you. Not? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kind of a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? Oh, come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. This is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> OK, now watch. we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, huh? yummy walnut. <laughs> we can't find any acorns. That's right. Because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool! And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts in other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky! Bye-bye! Keep digging! Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo! There sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo! We can go into the ocean and find out! I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller! Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Oh, hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam it to the right corner of the ocean. 
I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello. I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow. What a great friendship. Whoop. Whoa. <laughs> Someone called the tooth fairy. Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa, another tooth on the loose. That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. <laughs> You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this. Through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Wee! <laughs> Bless you! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth can have as many as 300 teeth at one time and 50,000 over the course of their lives. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi. Don't forget the floss. <laughs> <laughs>